people says I am. I know who I am. I know who I am. Who God says I am. Ooh, that's a song in my head. Hi, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Priscilla Presley and I am back again today with another exciting video. As you guys can see, I am so, so, so pumped up. I am so, so, so excited. And I'm here to tell you, thank you guys so much. You made my day. My YouTube channel is blowing up. Holy Moses, what is going on here? Anyway, I'm here to say thank you so much to you guys. Thank you so much for all the work you put into me. And I can't wait. I am just so over, over excited. So I want to say a big thank you, but I'm also here also to do another video again. And I hope you guys will stick around to support your girl. So please stick around. I'm going to be taking you guys and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do your own gristling at home. Yes, you hear me right. We are going to be making our own gristling today. How cool is that? So just stick around and I'm going to take you back to my walk station and I'll be showing you how I'm gonna be doing our own gristling. Thank you guys. How do I look? I love you guys and please keep watching and before I go please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video and please give my video a thumbs up thumbs up my video okay we want it up not down okay guys I thank you guys so much and I appreciate you being there for me here I already have my 240 ml of my olive oil this is my olive oil here I just went ahead and measure it because I don't want to do this make this video too long and I also have my 200 uh, 200 uh, grams of my coconut oil here that I'm gonna be using in making this uh, gristling and I'm gonna take it now and go start heating it up and then I'll come back and mix the uh, lye before I carried it on and so bef before you guys go further in making this DIY make sure your surrounding is very clean and also wear protective clothes and also you need some you need some goggles you need you need like a, a mask you know uh, to wear to protect you from inhaling any kind of toxins because lye is very 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 toxic you know, so you don't want to inhale that. Normally, you're supposed to use light in an open place where there's going to be ventilation. But I am in the house now. It's not so safe for me to be doing this. But if you're doing it at home, please make sure you take precaution and make sure your kids are not around. Because this thing is very, very, very toxic. Okay? So, please, we don't want to do that. You just want to make sure that you take precaution when you are using light. Okay, guys? So, I'm going to go now and heat the oil up. And I'll come back and start mixing the lye. I'm also going to be needing like 200 grams of water. I'm going to be using purified water. So if you want to make this at home, you need purified water or distilled water. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go ahead now and start heating up the stuff. And I'll bring you guys later and when everything is, you know, back again. Thank you, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead now and measure up my water. I need 240 ml of water. So uh, I'm gonna be measuring that here. This is my distilled water. We need 240 ml. And this is the water I'm gonna be using in mixing the lye, which is a um, hydro the, uh, sodium hydroxide, hydroxide. So this is, 200 ml of water. I'm going to add a little more. I need 240 ml. So just have a little bit more. Okay, so this is my water, 240 ml. And I have my oils. My oils are heating up. It's on high. But I also have my thermostat my thermometer here um, usually I'm not even supposed to wear something that is exposing my skin but I'm just taking the risk so if you want to do this at home you don't want to do what I'm doing please 
wear protective clothing and also wear your goggles and your mask because you don't want to inhale the fumes from uh, from light so this is what I'm using here for my light they are caustic soda this is what I'm using so I'm going to be needing like two tablespoons of this caustic, uh, caustic soda here I already have my measuring uh, spoon there that I'm going to be using I already have my 240 uh, ml of uh, distilled water that I'm going to be using in making this DIY so guys uh, gristling is so 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 very beneficial to the skin it is also used in a lot of cosmetic products it's also used in food not just cosmetics okay so I'm gonna just stop talking because I don't want to inhale this I'm gonna be using two tablespoons of my lye I'm gonna measure it up here One tablespoon. This is two. This is just all I need. I move my face away from it. Okay, I'm gonna put that aside. Okay, so this is my water that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in here because this is too small. I don't want it to be, it's too narrow for me. Okay, so this is my lye here. This is my caustic soda that I'm gonna be using. So when it comes to water over lye, because lye can expand out of the container and then it's gonna like over, or water over lye, because lye can expand out of the container and then it's gonna like over, over you know, expand, it's gonna uh, expand from the container. So you always want to uh, pour whilst you continue stirring it's going to go and then everything is going to clear up but like you have to be very very, very you have to take caution when doing this part of light and like I said you don't want your kids to be around you have to wear protective clothing and also wear a mask and goggles and when I'm pouring that in I'm not going to be talking because I don't want to inhale any fumes okay guys so I'm going to stop talking now so you guys just watch it is heating I've let it cool down because you know when it comes to lye you want to let uh, the oils cool down or else it's gonna expand it's gonna blow up like if it is heat and heat because light itself has some kind of heat in it and also the oil too is very hot so you don't want to put heat and heat together okay so we're gonna let the oil cool down which is has so I'm gonna go ahead now and add my lye and then once I add my lye I'm going to put my uh, thermometer because I want it to boil up to 120 Fahrenheit before I will bring it back down again. I will start the process. I still have to put, I'm going to put salt in also. Also, you're going to need some salt. So, but that would be the last thing to do before we proceed. So, I'm going to go ahead now and pour my light in here. And I'm going to slowly pour it in because it might overboil. Like I said, I just pour it in and stir it a little bit. I'm doing that right now. And while it's boiling, I'll still come and mix everything together. So it's very, very important for you to let the heat rise up to 125 uh, Fahrenheit because we need we need it to get to that point. Okay, so I'm gonna rise the heat up. So let it boil, but I'll come, you know once in a while and mix make sure I stir everything together so you guys can see so I'm gonna go ahead now and I'll put my uh, thermometer in to let it rise to the uh, temperature that I'm talking about 125 so I'm gonna let it heat up 
but I'll come once in a while and make sure everything is going on right. So I'm just gonna take this aside and make sure I wet, wash this right away because you don't want it to, to stay and you know get too uh, dry. In case if it doesn't come out, you could just put a little bit of uh, baking soda in it to wash it up. It will wash up really, really nice. So just for you guys to know. So I'm gonna turn down there. I'm gonna come back and I'll show you guys. As you can see here, the uh, gristling is coming to a trace. It's getting thick and thick, you know. So I'm gonna still stir it, stir it, stir it for some time again before I will bring it low to a lower heat and then also pour my salt in it. So this is. I just want to show you guys how everything is coming. See, it's becoming very thick. It's coming to a trace. See that? I want to make sure I mix it all so it doesn't overboil right now. Everything has thickened up. Uh, it's like my light is ready. I'm going to turn, on, uh, turn down the heat to 100 Fahrenheit. And when it gets to 100 Fahrenheit or to almost 80 uh, Fahrenheit, I'm going to go ahead and add my salt. I'm going to be putting half a, half a, a cup of my salt in. So if you want to put the salt, salt, you know, the salt comes last. It's the last thing you want to put, but you want to make sure it's uh, hot before you go ahead and add your salt into it. So you got to take notice of that. See, everything has thickened up nicely. Look at it. Look at how nice it looks. So this is it here. So I'll walk you guys through this process. I'm going to let it just, the heat go down. It's still on. Okay, so I could go ahead now and add my salt. I'll have my salt here. I'm going to grab it real quick. So I'm going to take out a thermometer. I'm going to leave it here. Make sure I get all these scrumps out of it. Okay, so this is my half uh, cup of salt here that I'm going to be using here. So I'm going to just go ahead now and sprinkle. Just slowly like put your salt in it. And then mix. I'm going to be mixing while I'm pouring it in. Make sure everything mixed together because it's all thickened up. Make sure I mix because it's in chunks. I don't want it to, you know, I want everything to mix together. So once I put the salt, you can see like there's some oil in the bottom of the pot, and that is our crystalline coming out. So, See what's gonna happen. I'm gonna add some more salt because I have a cup that I need here. So this process is very very easy to make. It's not that difficult, guys. Once you take the proper precaution. I use the steps that I use here. It's very, very, very easy to make. Very easy. So, gristling is, I mean, as one of, a lot of you know that it's, uh, it's an ingredient that everybody uses. And I said to myself, why not make mine? It would be fun to do it. And here I am, making my own gristling here. So, with this gristling, um, we, uh, if you don't preserve it, you could let it sit out for like, three weeks you know I want this three progress that I've made this is the the uh, gristling here I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna be like uh, straining out the oil I'm gonna separate the um, the light to my gristling so I'm just gonna use this I'm using this uh, cheesecloth here to uh, strain out that so I'm gonna like take uh, some of it and put it in here and I also have my soap motor here because I'm going to be using the remaining to like use as a soap because you know lye kind of like uh, forms a soap so I'm going to be using that I have my soap motor here but I'll, I'll walk you guys through this process so guys please uh, do thumbs up my video and also uh, share my video with your friends and please do not forget to subscribe 
I thank you guys so much. And if you have any question concerning this DIY, you know, you can always write me, uh, ask your question on the comment section. And also, I forgot to tell you guys that I use my coconut oil and I also use olive oil. But if you don't want to use this oil, you could use uh, jojoba oil or you could use soy, soy oil or vegetable oil. You know, any oil of your choice is fine. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. So this is the heat. I don't want to put too much so that I'll be able to like, squeeze out, you know, the, the crystalline. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and squeeze out everything here. I'm going to just slowly do that. Okay, you see our oil is coming out. I have to just make it so. So, like my advice is that I'm not going to talk because I'll fast forward this part. <laughs> 